Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Kled, the Cantankerous Cavalier. What the heck you doing, Scarl? Get back in there! Kled is an ornery little guy. Always a rabble rouser. Who's talking? In his old age, he's gotten even more violent, crazy, and eccentric. Hey, you shut up! Lily livered fungu sniffer! Of course, those characteristics only make him more beloved by the soldiers of Noxus. Legend holds that Kled has fought in every campaign ever waged by the Noxian legions, acquired every possible military title, and has never once backed down from a fight. It's hard to tell if those stories are true, but one thing's for sure. When Kled decides to charge into battle, somebody's gonna die. Kled's passive is also his one true friend in the world, Skarl the Cowardly Lizard. Skarl has its own health bar and takes damage in Kled's place. Any bonus health Kled picks up through items, runes, or masteries applies specifically to Skarl's health bar. Kled and Skarl have a complicated relationship. The Cantankerous Cavalier always wants to go ham, but Skarl is a little less courageous in the face of danger. Whenever Skarl's health bar gets depleted, the spineless critter will flee the battle, leaving Kled to fight alone. Skarl! Skarl! Where are you? While he's dismounted, Kled won't have access to some abilities and deals less total damage, but he gains extra range on his auto attacks and extra movement speed while heading toward enemy champions or after successfully attacking them. All's not lost when the lizard leaves. After a moderate cooldown, Kled can rebuild Skarl's Courage, which is tracked by a secondary resource bar. By attacking major objectives like turrets, epic monsters, and champions, or by last hitting minions, he'll inspire his cowardly companion to return to the fight. If Kled is able to remount his untrusty steed, he'll get a portion of Skarl's health back. Returning to the fountain always brings Skarl back as well. Kled has two separate Q abilities one when he's mounted, and one when he's on his own. When he's riding Skarl, he'll be able to throw out his bear trap on a rope. When Kled hurls his deadly hillbilly contraption, it damages all enemies it passes through and clamps onto the first enemy champion hit. Tagging an enemy champion with the bear trap tethers them to Kled. If unbroken after a few seconds, Kled reels in the rope, pulling the enemy toward him while applying a slow and a nice chunk of damage. If Skarl has fled the scene, Kled throws away his bear traps and unholsters his pocket pistol. His diminutive derringer uses an ammo system and damages the first enemy's hit in a cone while knocking Kled back in the process. Pocket pistol is Kled's only tool outside of basic attacks for restoring Skarl's courage, so use it wisely because each bullet that hits enemy champions will bring Skarl back faster. In-lane, bear trap on a rope is like a big hug for your lane opponent. The tighter you squeeze, the harder it is for them to get away. Use it to keep them in lane until they're really, really comfortable. Pocket Pistol's knockback effect is also the best way to run away from a fight, if you absolutely have to. Run away! Kled don't run. Kled's W is a passive ability, Violent Tendencies, that works the same whether or not Kled is mounted on Skarl. Whenever he attacks, his Bloodlust triggers, increasing attack speed for the next three attacks. The final Frenzied Blow deals bonus damage based on a percentage of the target's maximum health. Use it or lose it. Whether you get through your Frenzied attacks or not, Violent Tendencies will go on a short cooldown before it can be triggered again. When laning, try to save the empowered attack. You never know when Kled will need to jump into a fight because a poppy got sloppy. Kled's E is jousting, and it's only available while he's riding Skarl. I knew you couldn't quit me, Skarl! The Yordle Lizard duo quickly dashes, damaging all enemies in their path. If Jousting hits an enemy champion, Kled gains a short burst of movement speed and a small window to reposition for another tilt at the same target, again damaging everything in his path. 
When combined with bear trap on a rope, jousting makes Kled obnoxiously sticky, even for champs with a whole pile of dashes and dodges at their disposal. Oh, that voice in my head won't stop making god awful puns. If you're going in deep, jousting also works as an escape, but be careful, you can only keep jousting while you're in the saddle. Kled's ultimate ability is called <clears throat> Charge! When activated, Kled and Skarl hurtle toward a target location, dodging around terrain, building up a shield, and massively boosting the movement speed of allies in their wake. Skarl homes in on the first enemy champion encountered, ramming them to deal a percentage of the target's max health in damage, which increases the farther Kled has traveled. Together, Kled and Skarl make for a rather unstoppable force. Neither crowd control nor the player can stop them during the ultimate. The range on Kled's ult is big, like half the map big. It hits hard and fast and can't be canceled once you've activated, so if you're going ham, make sure you're ready to go whole hog. Pop your ult to charge into the fight and reclaim your territory. Thanks to Skarl, Kled has a stronger than average early game that he can use to his advantage. Here, he jousts twice through the transforming Gnar, dodging minion aggro and wallop on the return trip. When his foe turns tail to run, Kled chases with a tether from Bear Trap on a rope unbroken by dismounting. Kled can use the dismounted movement speed he gains and a timely flash to stay in range for the final shot. When Kled drops to low health, offense can be more effective than defense, as Kled can embolden his Craven companion and get Skarl's second health bar back by fighting. I'll gotcha! Here, Kled displays his violent tendencies to Kale, then kites back with Pocket Pistol. Kled steals himself, flashes into melee range, and hits all the Pocket Pistol bullets, just barely maxing out the Courage meter, regaining his reptilian buddy at the last possible second. Kled isn't just about slaying opponents, he's only about slaying opponents. When Victor finds himself trapped between Malphite and a river wall, Kled jousts in to capture the rock type with a bear trap on a rope and melts him down with violent tendencies. Thanks to his incredible stickiness, Kled can make almost all his flash plays worth. Kled tags Nami with the red buff slow before sticking to her with another joust, turning her into fish food for Scarf. Still, Nami is a strong counter to Kled in the right situation. Kled lines up a near-perfect ultimate, but Nami takes the revenge with a well-timed tidal wave. Kled cannot stop or cancel his ultimate, so he's all in from the word go. With his team swept up behind him, Kled and Skarl find themselves up the creek without a paddle, and Nami's payback leaves the duo sleeping with the fishes. When Kled decides it's time to charge, Enemies need to protect their backline. Bigger frontline tanks can body block the dynamic duo during their rampage, keeping Kled at a safe distance. When you don't, your squishies will be squashed in an instant. Kled speeds Annie up to promptly delete Caitlyn. Even after the initial barrage, remember that the wake from Kled and Skarl sticks around for several seconds. Here, Kled runs back in to catch Ziggs, proving once and for all who's the craziest Yordle. Woo! That's his baby, yeah! Thanks for tuning in to the Kled Champion Spotlight. Charge! Into Kled's archive by clicking the links to learn more.